Welcome to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. My name is Muriel Burkas and we're here at the Technical Forum. Um, we're here for the last presentation of today and I'm very much looking forward. Uh, it will be about PAM electrolysis improving transformation costs through intelligent stack design. Um, please welcome on stage with me uh, Head of R&D of HTAC Systems, Dr. Frank Alibrod. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Um, as mentioned, my name is Frank Allebrot. I work for HTEC uh, since uh, yeah, more than two years now. And I would uh, f start by giving you a short introduction into the company HTEC. HTEC is um, a pretty old company in the field. It was founded in uh, around 1997. And uh, it was involved in some very nice and very challenging uh, products and projects around the field of uh, hydrogen, but now we focused uh, on PEM electrolysis. Um, in 2010, uh, GP Joule uh, integrated HTEC systems as a subsidiary uh, within the company. Um, we have now two offices in Germany. One is located in Lübeck in the, the north of Germany. The other is located in the south, close, close to Augsburg in Bavaria. Um, we have one goal at HTEC, and uh, our goal is uh, uh, the most inexpensive conversion of electricity into hydrogen uh, using PEM electrolysis. Um, our mother company is uh, GP Joule, uh, which is a pretty young company compared to HTEC. It uh, was founded in 2009, but has already 190 uh, employees. Uh, GP Joule um, is a, a player around the field of renewable uh, energy with the, the goal to supply renewable energy around the clock uh, 100%. Um, we have uh, offices in Reusenköbel, the head office uh, very north uh, in Lübeck, Berlin, Buttenwiesen and Geislingen an der Steige in, uh, in the south of Germany and also international offices in Toronto and in Los Gatos in the United States. So um, hydrogen is now, this is our new slogan. Um, we often talk that uh, hydrogen is the future, but we think uh, or we know it's already the, uh, the present. Um, it is pretty easy to put hydrogen, if it's produced from renewable energies, directly into the gas grid. That's one opportunity. You can do methanization and use the methane for different uh, purposes. Of course, mobility. Um, we all know the, the mirrorites, the fuel cell cars. Uh, you can use it for um, fuel cells. Of course, there's uh, industrial applications, chemical applications, and what's the future? Um, it's the reconversion into, electri into electricity. So um, the PEM electrolysis cost breakdown, there's one study saying um, what actually are the, the cost breaks, uh, the, the costs for a PEM system and for a PEM stack. On the left-hand side, we see that um, a stack uh, contributes more than half to a PEM electrolysis system. Um, on the other side, we see uh, the, the cost breakdown of a PEM electrolysis stack saying here that we have 51% uh, only for the bipolar plates. That's a um, European study, the final report, which was um, announced just a, a few years ago. Um, actually, I must uh, be honest, this is not our, our costs. I'm actually not allowed to, to give you the cost, but let's say it's not so far away from the, from the truth that we see it. But when we have such a cost breakdown, we can think about what will we do to reduce those costs. Of course, first we ask us what are the most expensive components. Um, if we have identified them, we can of course say, uh, let's reduce the costs on them. Um, can they be replaced? Do we really need them? Um, or can we reduce the, the waste, which is actually a very nice uh, uh, possibility to reduce cost. We talk to all our suppliers and then we say, okay, what's the, the best compromise that uh, every supplier has the, 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 less, uh, the, the fewest waste? And by that we can uh, decrease the, the costs for the entire stack. And of course, there's another um, possibility to reduce costs is by mass production, thinking from the beginning not only think of what's the cheapest way to produce it in uh, 10 or hundreds 
Um, just think from the beginning, let's produce 10,000, let's produce 100,000. That's what we need for uh, the, the future energy system. And of course, um, if it comes to 10,000 and 100,000, um, there must be also the possibility to manufacture it by robots. Um, um, think about limitations by the suppliers. Um, can they, uh, if you have a good supplier, but can the supplier also uh, distribute uh, 10 times, 100 times more as he can, uh, is distributing now? And um, of course, one challenging uh, point, especially if it comes to the PEM electrolysis, is the availability of raw materials. Uh, do we have enough iridium, uh, platinum on the planet? Can it be, uh, can it be produced? Can it be mined? And um, of course, um, there's also another possibility just by um, using the overbuild, uh, overload capability of the stack. So it's pretty easy to have a stack and put 400% on it, then you have very low um, specific cost, but the lifetime is a disaster. So you have to find uh, an intermediate way. So we did this, um, and the result, first result is uh, what we are very proud of, that we are now able to sell a PEM electrolysis stack, the so-called HTAG S series, um, with a weighted, power, uh, weighted production uh, of 0.40 and to 3.38 kilograms of hydrogen per day. Um, if you want to just um, have a S30 slash 10, it comes with one kilowatt uh, electric power. It's pretty easy to calculate. Each cell of uh, those stacks has uh, 100 uh, watts. Um, the load range is in, in between uh, 0 0.2 to 6 kilowatt and to 9.4 kilowatts. Uh, we have an overload capability of uh, 188%. Um, we are also uh, able to give a mean MTTF, mean time to failure, and uh, we say this is uh, 40,000. Uh, hours now. Uh, we've done some very intensive uh, testing in the last years uh, with a total testing uh, time of over 100,000 hours. And uh, with our newest design, we didn't have any failure. Uh, as well, we didn't see any significant uh, degradation. It was uh, almost zero. Um, also, what is pretty new this year is our M-series uh, electrolyzer. So we uh, stepped uh, back. Um, we don't sell uh, only stacks. We also sell um, electrolyzers. This is the ME100-350, uh, and it produces 100 of kilogram of hydrogen each day. Um, the, the maximum power is 350 kilowatts. Um, and in overload, we can uh, also produce 140 kilograms of hydrogen per day. So, and um, there's one more thing uh, what uh, we offer with this electrolyzer. This is a, a guarantee uh, of uh, four years. So it's called our performance guarantee, and it comes together with a maintenance uh, contract. So if you want to uh, have want to hear any more details about uh, purchasing such an electrolyzer or purchasing a PEM electrolysis stack, uh, our booth is pretty close, C58, and we can give you uh, pricing and everything on the booth. So the data sheets are available as well for both products that we offer, and I would be very happy to introduce you more detailed into our products at our booth. Thanks you very, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for your time and okay. your spontaneous uh, <laughs> presentation. Um, are there any questions for him? No? Okay, I think uh, call it a day at the technical forum. Um, as he announced, if you have further questions, go to the booth later on or tomorrow or this week. I hope you enjoyed the technical forum on the first day and we will start tomorrow at 10 a.m. with the first presentations right here. Okay. Have a good afternoon, evening, and see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.